Hello everybody and welcome back to Brood War. The side disruptor is causing me some very serious problems. Although I've regained control of my forces here, it's taking more and more concentration just to keep them in line. Oh, my heart's breaking for you, Kerrigan. Now exactly why was it that you asked Phoenix and I to bring Minx to you? Are you still suspicious that I'll kill him for abandoning me to the Zerg? I've gotten over it, Jim. We can't afford to let petty hatreds jeopardize our plans for the new AD. That's reassuring. Arcturus, I presume you found your cold sleep chamber accommodating? What is the meaning of this, Carrigan? Straight to the point, huh? I was hoping to chat. It's been a while. Not long enough. Why have I been brought here? I need your psi emitters, Arcturus. Why? Remember the Confederate Psy Disruptor that you could never find? Well, the UED found it, and it's preventing me from controlling my minions. With the help of your Psy emitters, I can gather up enough Zerg to destroy the Disruptor and confront the UED. And what are you offering me in return? Ha! Ever the politician. All right, Emperor. If you help me destroy the Disruptor, I'll help you retake Korhal from the UED. Hmm. A tempting offer. What assurances do I have of you fulfilling your end of the bargain? The only thing I can assure you of, Arcturus, is that without my help, you'll be the emperor of your own little 8x8 cell for the rest of your life. <sighs> I see that you're still a persuasive speaker. All right, Kerrigan. I'll lend you some emitters, but this had better be worth it. Okay, so all we need to do is destroy the Psy Disruptor, huh? Sounds easy enough. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? Alright, boys and girls, listen up. Our objective is to locate and disable the Psy Disruptor's primary power generator. Once we've done that, we'll turn over the mission to Minsk and Kerrigan. Let's move out. So, are we supposed to do this? Yes. Okay. So, with these Zerg, I can construct a new hive cluster. Once my forces have grown strong enough, I can assault the Psy Disruptor directly. Yeah, yeah. So, we then, whenever we run across rene Renegade Zerg, we then just bring this with them, or we bring this to them. Okay. Well, let's scout out a bit here. Hmm. Okay, this is a relatively defensible position. That's for sure. I want to find out what's down here, if anything. Oh, more Zerg. Okay. Come on down here with the Psy emitter. There we go. Okay, anything else down here? No? That appears to be it. Excellent. Okay. So I don't think we need to bring the Psy emitter with them. But let's see, can we pass through here? Nope, okay. So we don't actually need any land-based defenses, just anti-air. That's interesting. Our hatchery is just about done. Come on, hatchery. This is kind of a slow process. You'll note I have not taken gas yet. That's for a reason. So let's go ahead and get ourselves 
Oh, we need an overlord. Of course we do. Let's go ahead and start mining ASAP. Oh, we do have a way down over here. I completely missed that. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Okay, there's some hydras down there. I'm gonna go ahead and go grab these hydras. Hello, hydras. Yeah, I'm sure. So this SCV can't build, unfortunately. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny if it could. Let's get a bunch of drones now that we've got an overlord, although the next one should definitely be another overlord. I'm going to put this overlord up here just as a bit of a scout. So when is our next larva? Should be soon. There it is. We'll be needing an overlord for sure. And in the meantime, let's push up over this direction. I don't really want to bring the SCV too closely. Oh, hello. There's a Terran bunker there. Okay. So we're going to want to just hold this position then, pretty much. Gotcha. Well, let's get ourselves some more drones. We are definitely going to be needing them. I'm going to stick an overlord down over here, just in case. And we're going to need a whole bunch of drones. No, not you. You can come on down here. And then you can build yourself... Extractor. That's what it is. I was trying refinery and assimilator, but neither of them worked. And let's go ahead and build a creep colony right about here. Spread our creep a little bit and get ourselves a couple more drones. We're going to need a lot more mining, of course. But I think this will be, you know, fine-ish. By that I mean we need a whole, whole lot of drones. I'm going to make this into another overlord though. And we don't yet have an evolution chamber or spawning pool. You can go ahead and take gas. You can go ahead and take mining. Or start mining, anyway. And we need more drones. Okay, another drone. We're going to be needing some structures for sure. Come on. There's our overlord. There's another drone, and let's immediately get ourselves a spawning pool. Require more minerals. 200 minerals. Oh, wow. Okay. Evolution chamber is 75. Let's get an evolution chamber then. So um, let's get an evolution chamber right about here, and then you can go into gas, and we'll get another drone. We'll get a spawning pool next then. I don't think we need any more than three drones in gas right now. That's probably more than sufficient, especially since I'm probably just going to go Ling Hydra. So you can go ahead and take gas, and then after that we'll spend, I don't know, maybe like five more drones on minerals. These guys are just kind of charging around randomly. I'm not a fan of that. Let's go ahead and take melee... Actually, let's take missile attacks first. And then I want you to build a spawning pool once we've got the minerals for that. Come on, drones. Come on. Come on. There we go. Spawning pool. Let's go. You should be mining. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. So we can get ourselves a spore colony, but this one should probably be a sunken colony. Let's get one drone here. And then this one will be another drone now. And then one more drone. We still need a bunch of drones. So that's fine. This guy can go take mine. There we go. This guy, um, I don't know. He can probably build a... Um, another creep colony. Oh my. That's, um, that's extensive. That is very extensive. Okay, we did actually win. I'm a little surprised. So, I would very much like to build another creep colony over here, as well as start building some creep colonies up over this way, but I think I'm going to have these two mine instead, and we'll build another pair of drones. Although we should start considering that we need to 
reinforce this over here. But I want this to be a sunken colony. So far they haven't attacked us with any air. But that's not something that we should assume will remain the case. So I am going to go ahead and build some creep colonies over this direction. And then get another drone or two. We have not found an expansion site yet. Which kind of makes me sad. But let's go ahead and get Ling Speed researching. There we go. And let's get this to be a spore colony as soon as we can. There we go. And you, you're supposed to be building a creep colony. Did I spend your minerals? I think I did. There we go. Excellent. You can actually go ahead and mine both of you. And I think we're kind of good-ish for structures right now. We should be considering that we definitely need to be getting ourselves some lings out. Also, we are going to need a hydralisk den. We do not have one of those currently. So let's get a drone and get a hydralisk den. As of right now, I don't see a need for anything else, but we're going to have to break through this structure over here. So maybe, I don't know, like one ultralisk or something. These lings can go ahead and come down here. I would like this guy to build me a, no, to build me a hydralisk den, which is here. It's been a while since I've played Zerg. Okay, let's go ahead and get Carapace, since that will help both our hydralisks and lings. There we go. And let's get these guys all into drones as well. I want one more drone mining, I think. Oh, hello. Good thing I built that spore colony. I don't think those wraiths can take out that spore colony. No, they can't. Okay. Excellent. Let's build another one up here. In fact, let's build two. And then you can mine. And then we'll get one more drone. Okay, we do have our Hydralisk den. Let's go ahead and get Grooved Spines, I think. Ah, uh, we need the minerals. Now we have the minerals. I do want one more drone again, as well. We're pretty lacking on the old mineral front right now. I do want this to be another pair of spore colonies. I want this to be a quite strong area. Okay, and then I want to build, like, a... A, a trio of spore colonies down here. And then, like, an, one more sunken colony over here, maybe. So we do need a few more drones still. Okay, we still need to be starting construction on our hydralisks soon. So let's go ahead and get a hydralisk out. This guy can come on down here and build a creep colony. We are also going to be needing an overlord, so let's go ahead and get one of those. Uh, I spent the resources for the creep colony. There we go. This will be a sunken colony here. Excellent. This hydra can come on down here. We'll get ourselves two more hydras for now and then do a bit of a probing attack, I think. There we go. Another hydra. Nice. Let's get a pair of spore colonies down here. And I think we're good-ish to go. We should probably be getting another overlord soon, though. We need one more hydra. So where is our... There's our... our um, what's the word I'm looking for? Larva. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> oh boy. It's, uh, it's been a long day already. Let's go for faster Hydralisk movement. And Carapace will be coming in soon, which will be huge in attacking over here. Oh, hello. Just sending in a medic on her own? That's weird. I wouldn't have done that, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go for melee attacks level 1. And we are going to need another drone, because in order to upgrade further, we're going to be needing more structures. And upgrading is good, so let's go ahead and tech up. We could also consider building a lair, and I think we should. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that. And we do require a lair for both of those. Oh, okay. Well, you can go mine for the time being. And for right now, let's, uh, where's that Hydralisk at? I thought I queued up another Hydra. 
Apparently not. Okay. Well, we almost have our faster Hydralisk movement done. And let's get these guys to be Lings. Oh, hello, we're under attack. We're gonna be able to fend this attack off, looks like, but they're doing some damage. They killed our Lings. But that's okay, we have new Lings coming. <laughs> like, we have a lot of new Lings coming. Okay. So we're just about ready to attack again. We've got our Hydralisk Den here. Our lair is just about mutated, so I'm going to get ourselves another another larva going into a drone here. And let's actually just go ahead and take Antenna for right now. And then we will just add in these two Zerglings. Excellent. And this drone can come on down here and build a Queen's Nest. Which I believe we need to tech up. Okay. This is a whole lot of Terran units. But we are able to take out all of them with relatively minimal losses, actually. Like, they lost a whole lot more than we did. Let's just get our Zerglings out here. It should not take too, too long. I would very much like to get an expansion, but I haven't found one yet, which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, here comes our Lings, and I'm going to go ahead and queue up a Hydra for right now. Okay, let's use this force and attack this bunker. We need this bunker dead, guys. Nice. Okay. With that bunker dead... Oh, look at that. There's some free lings here. Okay. With that bunker dead, there's some free lings here. And I want to get this Hydra up here. Oh, hello. Okay, let's go ahead and get Carapace level 2, since that will upgrade both lings and Hydras. And let's get some Hydras coming out. And let's bring our SCV with the... Uh, uh, Psy emitter up here, and we will go ahead and grab these Zerglings here. Might as well. We're probably going to suicide them at some point, but that's what Lings are good for. Okay. What do we got up here? Anything? Oh, uh, we've got some fire bats. I, uh, I don't like fire bats. I want to kill the fire bats with our Hydras. Um, I didn't select all the Hydras there when I double clicked. Okay. Well, Hydras, come on up here. Oh, hello. Okay, we need everybody up here. There we go. More Terran forces. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's a, a tank? Yeah, the tank was up over there. Okay, that's intriguing. I mean, we can potentially do a, a like, Ling run-by of the tank, but there's another bunker backed up by a tank there. That's a bit spooky. Okay. So, we can get Queens, we can get Mutas, but I think right now I'm just going to queue up some Zerglings. There we go. And we are still evolving right now, so let's go ahead and move these Hydras up here. And we'll just hold this position for right now. I'm wondering how exactly I get defilers. I'm not sure. Let's see, overlords, we don't really need one. I don't even see defilers in the list. I don't think we can make them, which is unfortunate, because I'd love to make a defiler right now. And just defile right here and up here. Because we can see there's a bunker there as well. I don't think we can get Ultras either. So I think we basically just have to Ling Hydra our way through this. Which pretty much means we need a way bigger force. And this secondary force is going to be just Lings. Because I need cheap, expendable cannon fodder to be able to get in close. And break through these defenses. Alternately, we could do spawn broodlings from a queen. 
Like, float a queen in back here. That might be viable, actually. Yeah, let's do one queen, and let's test it out. Come on in, queen. That might break that line, like, exceptionally easily, actually. We'll find out. But this force should be sufficient-ish soon. <laughs> I'm going to get a couple of hydras. And let's see, how are we doing on our upgrades? Okay, let's go for melee attacks level 2. Along on that uh, broodling. Still a little while. Okay. And we'll take ventral sacks, I guess. And this queen cannot yet spawn broodlings, but that's okay. Oh, we don't have any energy to start with. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and research the energy, and we'll, we'll have to wait for our energy to come up, but that's okay. In the meantime, I'm going to spawn a few more Hydras. This force is primarily Hydras, but it's mixed. This force is entirely Zerglings, so this next one will be entirely Hydras. We do have our melee coming in. Oh, hello. That's obnoxious. Okay, Hydras, I need you guys up here. Get up here, Hydras. Can they cloak? I don't think they can cloak yet. That's really, really good. Okay. Losing a couple of drones there is not the end of the world. Since we're running out of minerals to mine anyway. So that's fine. I don't really care about that. We'll spawn a couple more Hydras, and we are now at 97 energy on our Queen. I'm hoping this gives us a free 50 energy when this finishes researching, but I don't know that for sure. It, it may or may not. But as soon as we have this force completed here, we'll be in a reasonably good position. We are going to need a new Overlord soon, though. So the next one will definitely be an Overlord. As soon as we get a new larva. There we go. Okay, we're doing pretty well on our Hydras. We need three more. Okay, our queen evolution is not yet complete, but our queen is almost energied up. Oh, we do have a Hydra up here still. Come on down here, Hydra. We actually only need two more Hydras. There we go. Here's an Overlord. And our second Hydra. Excellent. So it did not give us the free energy. I'm very disappointed in that, but we do basically have the energy at this point. So let's take this queen up here. And the idea is we just spawn broodlings on the tank. Like so. Okay, and now the tank is dead, and we can attack that that position with much, much more safety. Okay. Let's come on up here. So group one, group two, and group three. Everybody up here. It's a rather large force. Group one, group two, group three. Group three. Come on. There you go. They actually aren't in their bunker. That's adorable. Okay. So we do need to bring the Psy Emitter up over here. There are three more Hydras. Do we have any losses in that? We did not. Okay. And these guys can come over here. If they can pathfind their way through this extremely wide cavern. Oh, hello. Hydras, I want you guys over here. Defend this. Okay. So we are under attack over here. I'm going to send the Lings over to defend us. And these three should be ours, and indeed they are. So you guys can come on over here. You guys can come over here. And our Lings are defending them. Or def rather, are defending us. There we go. And we'll go ahead and spawn some more Lings. Did I just hear... Oh, there's still a Marine up. Okay, kill that marine. There we go. Okay. Where's our queen at? Uh, 83 energy. I think we just need to suicide up this way. So, let's come on up here. We need you guys to attack the tank. 
tank is the priority. There we go. Okay, and we get, actually get an expansion here. Look at that. Ooh, and an Ultralisk. That is really solid. Okay, let's get this group up here. And let's get this guy up over here. Let's go ahead and transfer one of these drones over here for a hatchery. I'm going to build it right there. SCV, I need you over at this Ultralisk. Oh, come on. Get out of the way, Zerglings. SCV, I need you over here. There we go. With all due respect to Miss Kerrigan, sir, these critters make me nervous as hell. I sure would appreciate some immediate evac. thank you. So, oh, is that the last one that we can get? I think that's the last one we can get. But do we now have access to Ultralisks? No, we do not. Okay. Well, we'll get some, some more Hydras up. And I'm going to go ahead and set this as our rally point now. And yeah, the SCV is gone. Okay. Well, I'm going to use our Zergling force here to scout up this direction. Let's see what we can find. A whole bunch of nothing. Okay. I'm going to have our Hydra force come over here and hold then. And our Zergling force can come on over as well. These guys can go ahead and come down here. We'll use the Ultralisk when the time is right. Which I don't think it is right now. Most of these drones can go ahead and transfer up over here at this point. We don't need more than, like, two drones over here. Especially not with there being 12 minerals left in here and 108 in there. So yeah, that'll be fine. But I mean, we've got plenty of resources right now. I'm not concerned about that. Oh my, okay. Well, let's come on up here and overwhelm this force. Okay. And let's see if we can't find ourselves somewhere else to attack. Looks like not that direction. It is, however, time to go ahead and put a cut in here, and it looks like we have nowhere else to go on the ground. We're going to need to take to the skies. Good thing we've been doing our overlord research. <laughs> let's bring this overlord on over here. And I'm going to put a cut in here, and next episode, we will explore the, r the other half of this map. Hang on. We can go down right here. Well, we'll do that next episode. See you all then.